welcome to the Miami vlog. M I A M I baby, slip and slide is going crazy. Woo woo, pull over. Trina is a national treasure. She's an icon in my book. Welcome, good people. We're in Miami. Uh, we're here for a swim week, but also just a vacation, y'all. I told you all before that I am like facing a burnout. Maybe that was in my private community. I told somebody, girl, I don't know if it was y'all or who it was. I said, I'm tired. I said, I'm real tired. If burnout is like around the corner, I'm peeking out the window, I'm looking at her. I know her location and her coordinates. And so, I have decided to do swim week, but to do it on my own terms. Now, if this is your first time around here, hello, I am Tashira, politics and fashion. I make content around style, self-care. I also am a social justice advocate. I am an attorney by training, and I have a podcast called Justice that I would love for you to tune in to. And coincidentally, I'm also from Florida. I rep my state hard, despite the politics. Okay, can't hold that against us. And Swim Week is a great time. Think of it, y'all, kind of like Fashion Week, but for swimsuits and resort wear only. And there are brands here that we all know, like Vogue, uh, Revolve, Sports Illustrated, and other smaller independent resort wear and swimwear designers. They all have runway shows or even parties and gifting suites, all the things, y'all. And this year, Swim Week actually was split into two. You had some shows and events that happened in June, and now you also have the same thing happening in July. And so, today, um, I just got up, I went and I grabbed food, I went to Pura Vida, it is delicious. I'm staying in an Airbnb that is literally, I can see out of my window or out of my balcony, Fendi at Design District. I feel like this is dangerous for me. It's kind of like if you have a substance abuse disorder, you don't need to be next to the trap. I don't know how I set this up, but we're here now, literally, <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, so I walked over to Design District. I got a great smoothie. This is a green smoothie. Um, it's pretty tart, so I had them to put banana in it, but my stomach has been not well, so I made sure I got some lemon, some ginger, some greens, all the stuff. And hold up. It's one more sip. Also got some chia pudding, which was great. Everything I think is vegan. It's all fresh. If you're in Miami, I definitely recommend it. Today is Thursday, and there are shows that are happening every day until next Monday or Tuesday. Um, but before that, Vogue is actually having like a beach thing every day from 11 to 8 at the Hotel Fontaine Blue. So I'm going to make my way there after I pick up the rental. Before we head out, though, I do want to share with you all this Airbnb because I highly recommend it. It is on Biscayne Boulevard, and so there's actually a view of the ocean right this way. Um, it is a one bedroom apartment. It has a balcony that spans the full width of the unit, the living room, the decor. Everything is so cute, y'all. And they have been so hospitable. Don't worry, I'll make sure that it is linked down below. But I asked if I could bring poops. And y'all know she's a terrorist. And so I don't expect people to treat me nicely or to welcome my pet. Not only because she's so poorly behaved, but because, you know, this is their home. They rent it out. They might live here. Who knows? But they agreed, despite what the listing said. And when I walked in, they even had two dog bowls on the floor. They had snacks. They had muffins. They had water and tea in the fridge. I mean, they just killed it. Um, and in the bathroom is a full array of toiletries, including sunscreen. And then in the closet, they have a huge walk-in closet, which I will be utilizing, by the way. But in the closet, they actually have um, pool chairs or beach chairs. They have a beach umbrella. They have umbrellas. They have everything you need for a great holiday or a great vacation in Miami. Now I'm going to unpack my suitcase, get ready for the day, and I'll check back in with y'all soon. I forgot that I wanted to show you all this really cool burlook set. The brand sent this over to me. You're probably going to see this all week y'all it is a two-piece as you can see it's a coordinating set I also have it in purple but I think the linen is perfect for Miami and great just to like pop on and go and grab a coffee or grab whatever in the morning it's just something great to lounge in around the house it is hundred percent linen I'll make sure it's linked down below 
we are back. I went to go run some errands, including picking up the rental. I did that with Turo. Have y'all ever rented with Turo before? I did it the first time in Santa Fe. It was amazing. It basically is like an Airbnb of cars. So you're renting vehicles from private individuals, essentially. And I picked it up at the airport. Um, and it was great. Had a drop top Mercedes. Was whipping in Santa Fe. Great birthday treat. So wasn't trying to blow that bag in Miami. <laughs> so instead, I was like, let me just get a little cute, a little cute Mustang drop top stitch. Cause you gotta have a drop top. You gotta have a bird. You're in Miami. And girl, the car is dirty. I was like, oh, you tried it. Nevertheless, we'll deal with that at another day and time. Um, uh, this Airbnb, I am so impressed. I already told y'all that earlier, but the location is also amazing. Not only can I walk to Design District, but I'm only a hop and a skip away from Midtown. And Midtown is where more restaurants are, things that are a lot more affordable, not as, you know, hoity-toity. Um, and also there's a Target, a Marshall's, a Trader Joe's. Like, this is really, I think, the best of all worlds. It's not beachside, of course, but you're 10, 15 minutes away. Speaking of beachside, I am actually headed there now. I am gonna go over to the Fontaine Blue to check out just what's going on. Maybe have a glass of rosé, but most importantly, Vogue is having like a beach club there and I have no idea what to expect. Therefore, I have no idea what to wear. But afterwards, I wanna go to Showfields. So, it's a cute little like um, indie design hub. So I felt like, okay, let me just wear something that I will want to have on for pretty much the rest of the day before I come back. And then I head out to tonight's show, which is Michael Costello. I've done a very light beat, nothing over the top. I don't even have on any eyeshadow, which is not like me, but I also know that it's so hot outside, I'm gonna have to wash all of this off before tonight. So today's makeup, don't make it to tonight's makeup. That's just how the humidity is set up. <laughs> So I tried to go light on um, my gloss. Let me show y'all. It is a combo and I feel like a lot of times it comes across more light on camera than it is in real life. But I always keep the OG Triple OG Matte Chestnut Liner. This is um, it's considered a air matte color. And it is by NARS. This is almost like a terracotta. I actually prefer to have a matte base of some sort because then as the gloss starts to fade, at least you do have a base. And the gloss on top is the Fenty Glow. It's the Gloss Bomb Cream and the color is Fenty Glow. So that is Le Lip for today. Let me grab my fragrance. It is Black Saffron by Byretto. I've been trying to include fragrances a lot more, y'all. I've been a fragrance girl since I was a child, um, but just don't always think to share it with you. So hold me to it. I will get better. The Black Saffron is delicious. Sorry that the lighting is coming in and out. I'm gonna throw in my sunnies. These are by Amazon. Of course, we're gonna match the Jacquemus bag that my grandma called a toilet seat. Uh, we have the Zara earrings, and I will show you the dress. All right, let's run the OOTD. Sunnies, as I mentioned, are by Amazon. Earrings are by Zara. Dress is by Alex May. I have never heard of this brand before, y'all. I got this in January from Shopbop. Wanted to send it back, forgot all about it. It was in my closet. Decided Miami was probably the best place to wear this, especially because it's tight, it's short. It's doing a lot, and that's what Miami is for, okay? <laughs> Shoes are by Zimmerman. I got these from the Outnet. I am obsessed. What did Rihanna say about her baby? You don't understand I'm obsessed. That's, that's how I feel about these right here because, girl, get into this heel. The fact that the heel is a block heel means that they are super comfortable. They are perfect for swim week. Bag is by Jocklemus, as I mentioned. Everything that I can find will be linked down below. Now let's get out in the swim week streets, y'all.
I've been out in that heat. Let me tell you something. I'm going to get my life right. I got to get right with God. Because if hell is that hot, I'm talking about get your house. Get your house in order. Do it today. I'm going to church on Sunday. Because I'm not going to be able to do it. Girl, the word says it's eternal damnation. The Miami Heat, I think I lost at least 10 pounds out here. And y'all know, I like being slim thick. I didn't even have a lot to give. Emaciation is on me from the level of heat. When I tell you I took my shoes off, the balls of my feet, I was afraid that I, I was going to get third degree burns. I was afraid to look at the bottom of my feet or this. I was like, is the skin hanging All right, y'all just made it back. I had to make a quick stop at Cult Gaia. I went to show Phil so I didn't have anything. I'm just feeling like, I don't know. I think because I've been pulling looks for so long that I'm a bit meh about what I brought. Not everything, but at least for tonight's look, which I plan to be a black sheer dress by Saint Laurent. And so it needed a little je ne sais quoi. And let me show you what I got. Got my hitter with me. Got my hitter with me. I got my hair with me. Pee Pee, you say hi? You didn't tell these people hi? Hi, Pee Pee. I love Cult Guys bags. And it is, as I mentioned, a pair of shoes. These are very different for me, y'all. But again, I feel like the dress needed a pop and these are going to do it. I wish they had them in black though, I'm not gonna lie because y'all know I'm a black girl. Um, but maybe I need a little bit of color, right? I'm wearing pink today. Um, and they also come in nude. So I am going to get dressed for this evening, running a little bit behind schedule, so let me go. Uh, I will be meeting up with Monroe tonight, so I'm excited about that. Monroe Steele here on YouTube, all across the internet, girl. Everybody's favorite. Uh, so we are meeting tonight for the Michael Costello show, and so I need to get dressed. Uh, I need to wash this day up off of me because like I told y'all that demon was out in that heat. The demon was out. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And I will check in with y'all at the show. Thank <laughs> you.
what has been happening between last night and today. Um, but first, I went to this really cute restaurant in Midtown called Negroni. And girl, why'd they have a menu for your dog? So I got a treat for Pooks. Let's see how this goes. Mimi, got a treat. So you take it to go. Well, you don't have to, but here it is. So I'm only gonna give her half of this. She's a small dog, she's five pounds. It is chicken, rice, carrots. It's some um, like rainbow colored carrots. Ooh. Let's put that in there. You all are about to see a terrorist in her prime. Let's go. Is it good? Is it good, Nika? You like it? Um, last time I saw y'all was last night. Um, I mentioned I was getting ready to go out to the first show of Swim Week. It was the Michael Costello show for Revolve. But it was put together by the Art Hearts fashion team. So if you are interested in knowing more about Swim Week, make sure you follow them over on Instagram. I will put them down below. I really, really like the Michael Costello for Revolve show. I love the body diversity. That was bomb. It was a black woman with an afro who actually ended the show. But before her, there were also different shapes, sizes, heights, all the things, girl, all the things. And so I'm noticing that trend between um, this year and, you know, shows in the past, even in New York, actually, where there are a lot more diverse body types on the runway. And I think if we also increase that around physical ability in other ways as well, gender identity and presentation, we will be headed in the right direction. Saw my boo uh, Monroe last night. She looked stunning, stunning. I just think color is made for her, for my melanated peoples. We need to keep color in the repertoire. You know, I'll pop out every now and again. I mean, I wore all black last night, but I'll pop out every now and again. Um, but Monroe looked fantastic and I was able to re meet Rhea for the first time. I've been following her for a while because of her and Monroe being friends and they're always together, but it was nice to meet her in person. She's really sweet. Um, met some other content creators there as well. And it was just a vibe. And so after the show, Girl, well, my daddy was in town. If you follow me on IG, then you know my daddy is a character. If you're not, you should. Here's your time to follow politics and fashion across the interwebs. And uh, girl, my daddy was in town with my uncle. And something where they got their hands on like a Bentley SUV. I don't know, girl. I don't ask no questions. All I know is daddy said, I'm coming to pick you up. I walked through the hotel and he's outside holding up a sign shouting my name. <laughs> Y'all, my ride has arrived. Oh, I'm so happy my ride is finally here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me hop in. Okay, thank you. Hi, yes, hi. You. So great to see you. cannot make this stuff up so I want y'all to really understand that I'm not new to it I'm true to it I'm we're, we're cut from the same cloth this is what there is the tree and then there is the apple all right <laughs> these two things are not too far from one another um so hung out with him and my uncle Mike for a little while and then came back to the Airbnb um, this morning, I was planning to sit by the pool, so I'm actually wearing my um, Feed Noel for Target swimsuit and as well as a coordinated set. This is going to be in a YouTube video soon, but this is by Amazon. Um, definitely something that's like light and breathable, perfect for the weather down here, as well as the linen set that I wore yesterday. But I ended up changing plans. I first went to breakfast again at Pura Vida. 
duh. And then I went to an amazing hat shop, y'all, in North Miami. And when I pulled up, I was kind of like, am I in the right place? But looks can be deceiving because when I got in there, it was literally an oasis. And the style hat that I'm going to show you all has been trending for some time. And I'm so, so happy that I finally got my hands on it. And by an authentic OG, triple OG hat maker or milliner nonetheless. And so... We got a straw hat. It has been slightly burned to kind of give it that rough and tough vibe. Oh, Poops, nice of you to join us after your meal. How was it, my dear? What you, what's your Yelp review? Let's see if your breast smells like rice. Do you like it? It was good, it was so good, yeah. All right, so um, I was saying that it has the kind of distressing that is popular now. And it even has the black ribbon that has like some burn marks on it. So the hat was just a basic straw hat, y'all. Everything else on the hat is customized. Yes, customized. And they have no shortage of ribbons and bandanas and twine and pins and cards. All this stuff that you can add to the hat. And so that was really dope. So I wanted to keep mine simple though. We can definitely go up to something a lot more extravagant. So outside of the ribbon, I also did a large gold safety pin. Y'all know I love gold. And also they had a deck of cards that are gold. Now somebody might say, why did you get the two of spades and not ace or queen well if you know something about playing spades in the black community then what you know is that before you sit down to play spades you always ask people how do you play do you play that's how we play joker joker deuce ace so that means big joker little joker the two of spades and the ace so technically the deuce is higher than the ace come on somebody Go ahead and get into that. Bow, bow. It's so funny because before I left home, I was looking up hats and I definitely wanted to get one. And I was just like, you know what? I don't feel like measuring my head. This is gonna come. It's not gonna be da da da. Look this place up. Hats on hats, by the way. I will link your information down below. And it was a great experience. Um, the woman who helped us has been in the industry for over 30 years. She started it with her husband. It was really dope. So y'all are all caught up now. It is, it's a quarter to four. Um, I'm gonna meet my dad for dinner for 5.30. So I'm gonna start getting dressed so I don't have to rush. You know, we gotta beat the face because then we are out for the rest of the evening. It is raining y'all, so I'm not looking forward to that. But today's a big day. I'm so excited for the Sports Illustrated show. So I definitely wanna go and have a good time there. So I'll check in with y'all once I get dressed. Already for the Sports Illustrated show and I wanted to show y'all my makeup first because I love the way that it looks. I met someone yesterday who told me that she was able to get her makeup to last from 9am to 8pm when we met. And the reason she was able to do that is because she sets after every layer of makeup. Mind blowing. So I don't know, I feel like that has changed the game for me. I did that today and I love kind of like the flawless finish that my makeup has. And I use Urban Decay's Oil Control Mattifying Spray. Everyone knows about that one, it's been around forever. And I just think it really does kind of even everything out and it's helping to control the oil as well. So let's get now into the OOTD. Since tonight's show is Sports Illustrated, I wanted to kind of play with swimwear. So I am wearing this top by Jacquemus. It's definitely not swimwear. I've had this for a long time. But the skirt is that material. The matching skirt I actually found on the Outnet recently on sale. It also has a blazer. And I also got the bikini bottom so that I can wear it to the pool. Y'all know I'm really getting to wear like that anyway. So I feel like it'll be a cute like swim day look laying by the pool look but nevertheless i dressed it up with these sylvia toledano earrings um my wrist is by free maiden ring is from morocco you all already know that and the same zimmerman shoes that i was wearing last night 
I'm going to wear my white jock mousse bag and that is the Sports Illustrated look. She never sell her left, she got filler. Thriller, uh, awesome oh, filler. She make the boys go away, go thriller. Uh, just let me in, let me, let me in. Playing games, never let me win. Shoulder on ice, very, very thin. If you caught feelings, she gon' bury them. Yeah, so you get away with murder. But you won't get away. We are waiting for the Sports Illustrated show to get started. Got here super early because we wanted to have a good spot. Uh, I'm in a cabana at the W, which is a vibe. I feel like I want to stay here now. But anyway, we have a very special guest. Miss, I didn't see you there. Miss Monroe still get us the OOTD. It's a little Hanifa. Period. Black a owned. A the label. Black owned. A little Bottega. A vibe. Oh, and a little Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let us see it. Let us see it. Yeah. But you won't get away this time. So you get away with murder. Don't shoot, girl. I'll make this worth your while if you give love a try. Hello good people. Last night was a complete vibe. I had such a good time at the Sports Illustrated show. Um, believe it or not y'all, I saw my high school classmate. My high school classmate who has lived in the DC metro area for the past 20 years. So we've overlapped in DC, never saw each other, ran to each other at the hotel lobby last night at the W. So that just goes to show you that the whole night was just intended to be. It was divinely intended. It just was an entire vibe. We had a good time. Rhea, Monroe, met some new great people. Um, the runway was amazing. It was so diverse. The same kind of theme around body inclusivity, age diversity as well. Sports Illustrated just always knocks it out the park. And so very, very pleased. Tonight, I am going to be going to a dinner that Rhea is hosting in collaboration with Patron, so stay tuned for that. But right now, I just wanna have a pool day, y'all. So, this is the pool at the Airbnb. I'm gonna vibe, my friend Joelle is here. Um, my friend Shadeen is gonna pull up on us as well. And then I shoot tonight, or this evening at six. But between now and then, it's hotter than a mug, and so we gonna enjoy this pool. Sun rays on my back seat when now I'm driving through today. Time stop when I'm with ya. So my time with you is endless. And I feel the way you're watching. I smile back at you. And your energy is perfect. This is the love that I can't lose. Yeah. You and I are roaming free tonight. Celebrate the love. This rocket ship of love, we on a brand new flight. Some doesn't seem to right lately. What's wrong with ya? With ya? Say please, won't you answer me? I pray that you're okay. Today was just 
just what the doctor ordered y'all it was so relaxing it was so amazing to just hang out with friends in the pool no agenda no itinerary just vibes for sure a little bit of rosé some music rooftop situation could not have asked for a better way to spend saturday and i consciously set out on some shows because i just really needed that chance to reset I'm getting ready now, as I mentioned, to go out to dinner. Rhea is hosting a dinner in partnership with Patron, as I mentioned. And let me show you what I am wearing. Tribe members will remember this dress. I got it at the Woodbury Commons Bottega Outlet. It is a vision. I think the color is technically called um, maybe pear. I'm not sure, but I have a pair of the Bottega mules to match. However, I decided to do a little bit of a color play and instead put on the brand new Cult Gaia shoes to add a pop of pink. My bag is going to be a little TBE. I'm going to give some tiny bag energy. This little bitty cute bag by Bulgari and our fragrance is going to be 724 by MFK. A number of you actually, I think, grabbed this because you mentioned it in the comments. I highly recommend it. I did a whole review on it, but it will be linked down below. It is the perfect summer fragrance for sure. But I'm going to grab my little tiny bag. The only thing it fits is my lip gloss and a couple cards and get out of here. Let's go. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I want this night to last forever. I want to go on and on. You don't know how to dance And I got two left feet But just take my hand Follow my lead We might skip a few steps But we're still on beat Ooh, you know I got the rhythm I know you like my rhythm Damn, I love a black woman from infinity To infinity Because that's science That's the future It's innovation AI a get ready with me chit chat i got a pr kit from bittner's daughter which is a brand that i've heard about followed for years and i'm so excited to finally have a chance to try out their products i have been using their active renewal cleanser it is super mild if you have sensitive skin this is definitely the one for you um, i like it before i have on makeup and all transparency because if not i feel like it doesn't have enough of a um, suds to really pull all of the impurities and the caked up and the pollution and all the stuff out of your skin if you are wearing makeup and so last night this is the only cleanser that I brought and I had to use my makeup wipes these are from Trader Joe's the pharmacy green clean makeup remover and then I cleansed with this not a big deal but again great cleanser for daytime I follow that with the Clarity Mist. This is a new mist that I have by Pixie. I really love y'all their skincare products. I know the girls have been on the um, glycolic acid toner for years, but this one feels good too. It has hyaluronic acid in it, but it's also a clarifying mist. So I don't like the feeling of my face being super dry. So I try to keep some sort of toner in rotation. And before the moisturizer, y'all have seen this before. I'm going to use the Kiehl's Ultra Pure High Potency Niacinamide Serum. This is almost gone and I will be repurchasing it. Another PR gift, but niacinamide is specifically great for oily skin. 
and I feel like it does the trick. It is so good to y'all. If I don't have on makeup, the glow that it gives my face without producing oil is really nice. And with serums, I always pack them in. And then the last step is my moisturizer, of course. I think I got this one during the Sephora sale and it's almost done. I will be repurchasing it because I love the fact that it is a moisturizer by Dr. Murad. It also has a sunscreen in it and it is a mattifier. Again, my skin is very, very, very oily. And the sunscreen or the SPF, as you can see, doesn't leave a white cast and it's nice to have a product that is all in one. When I saw my dermatologist recently, by the way, I got a bit of Botox above my brow and also in between here. Go over on um, Instagram to see those results. She mentioned that she definitely recommends an SPF and moisturizer combo. Now that the skin is all prepped, let's get to the makeup. I am going to link all of the products below. They actually probably are already linked because the one thing I'm not going to be able to do is really talk to y'all while I am actually actively applying this makeup and talking about the products. I will be here for an hour and ain't got an hour, okay? <laughs> so this is just my um, primer, y'all. But what I wanted to chit chat with you about is I'm sure people are going to ask, how do you attend Swim Week? How do you attend Swim Week? So let's go back, shall we? I started to attend Miami Swim Week, I think before I was diagnosed with breast cancer. So back in like 2017, 2018, it's been quite a bit of time. And the thing about it that I'll never forget is I was invited to Miami Swim Week shows, y'all, before I had 10,000 followers on Instagram, before I had five. But it was something that I was taking seriously. I was producing content consistently. Um, and it was just this opportunity that I was so excited when it came in my inbox. I was invited back in the day by four. Four is still around, but I don't receive invites from them anymore. But it was a great way for me to get on the list. Now, a good way to get on the list, well, first they sell tickets. I wouldn't recommend that because you never know what you're going to get as far as the show is concerned. For example, one of the shows I went to started two hours late. And if I had spent a couple hundred dollars for a ticket, I would have been livid. My foundation is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. And my color is 14. Um, I would have been livid. Also, Swim Week Split. So, Paraiso, which is a big show producer, had their shows in June. And then the other show producers had their shows like Tara Inc. and Art Hearts Fashion. They had their shows this weekend, which at the time of me filming this, this is the first weekend in July. Show started, event started technically, I think actually July 4th. So with that said, I think making a major investment as far as your dollars are concerned, if you are new to the industry, I don't know that I would recommend. But what I can say is I find all of the show producers and the PR agencies to be very approachable. So I will link the ones down below and I recommend you follow them on Instagram. You also make sure that you save their websites. Just know that around this time every year between June and July to be on the lookout because as soon as they release the schedule, you are going to want to make contact. And what I would personally do, I don't have to do this any longer because I know people I've been coming for so long. But what I would do is I would send people over my media kit, which is like a resume for content creators. If you don't have one, they have templates, I think, on Canva. Um, it doesn't have to be super fancy. Something that has your stats, your bio, your picture, etc. And I would send them an email explaining why it would be advantageous to them for you to come. Not just because, you know, you got a big butt and a smile, because that's not going to help the brands. 
but something about you know how you love resort wear you love swimwear you're excited to capture content to put it before your audience and you know will also have a good time you love travel you love Miami nightlife and you want to put together a great narrative and a great experience for your followers or something like that um, and people will get back to you. I mean, there were a couple of, of events that I had heard about that I wasn't invited to. I searched through my contacts, I emailed people, they got back to me, and I got on the list. And so I find folks to be very approachable for Swim Week in a way that I absolutely love. I tell people all the time that Swim Week is not like Fashion Week or New York Fashion Week. I've only been to New York. I don't know what the other ones are like and that it feels approachable, it feels accessible, and people are gen genuinely here to have a good time. I mean, obviously, the designers want to showcase their swimwear, they want buyers to pick up their products, but it's Miami, it's the summertime, shows tend to be on South Beach, like everybody's just having a good freaking time. One thing that I did notice, however, this is NARS Ready Get Creamy Concealer is that is that since the shows were split i feel like there weren't as many events this time but the things that i attended were a lot 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 of fun so i started off you all saw me at the michael costello show that was at the fontaine blue or i think everyone says the fountain blue i'm still going back and forth but at a hotel indoors um, they had an art exhibit that was set up, they had great drinks, and it was just an entire vibe, DJed all the things. I'm going to set it with the Laura Mercier setting powder, or my concealer that is. So that was Thursday. Friday was kind of the big, big show of the season which is Sports Illustrated. And that show was held at the W Hotel. From my understanding, they go back and forth. I've attended at the W before and at the Mondrian. I prefer the W. The Mondrian is huge, but the W feels more intimate. They have cabanas, we just post it up. Again, it was laid back. Nobody came and said, hey, you can't sit here. <laughs> you know, it was just fun. I'm gonna brush my brows up. And then I am going to apply a brow pen by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I find this brow pen is super dark. And so what I like to do is fill in my brows. And if it starts to give Corella the veil, I just brush it through and it lightens the color a bit. So that's how I would get into the shows. I skipped Swim Week last year. I was just overwhelmed. I had been on the road traveling back to back for a number of things. And actually, I think the weekend right before Swim Week, I had been in New York for a week. And I just, I couldn't do it. I, I didn't have it in me, y'all. Um, but that was cool because I think prioritizing rest is always important. But I also feel like what it allowed for me to do is just really be able to appreciate it even more this year. Last time I saw y'all, I was headed to dinner. Dinner that Rhea was hosting with Patron at the Bia Azure, which is a restaurant over on South Beach. Girl, I'm sure you already saw, but the vibes were immaculate. I am a really, really big fan of cocktails. I mean, we already know it's a beverage. Cocktails are my love language. But I'm a fan of cocktails that are made with passion fruit. That is one of my favorite flavors of all time. And Patron has a new passion fruit cocktail that tastes divine. It really, really does. And so we started off the night with that and then we sat down, we had bottle service at the table. First, the restaurant, as y'all saw, has this open air vibe to it. So you're indoors or you're, you're surrounded by four walls, but there's no roof. Um, and so just you get this amazing breeze, right? You see the stars. That is really lovely. And it's also a really romantic vibe, vibe I'm sure. Um, so we had bottle service, took shots of Patron, obviously. 
So I was able to hang out with obviously Rhea, Monroe, the whole tribe of Miami content creators who I'm getting to know as well. And uh, a ching. Yes, 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 yes. So a ching, if folks do not know, is a confidence activist or advocate is what she calls herself. And uh, it is 100% genuine, authentic. You cannot be around this person and not feel great about yourself. Like the glow, the aura, it precedes her. When you sit there, it just kind of makes its way onto you. Like the, the mist of the best perfume. It, I mean, it's giving Baccarat Rouge. Just the confidence sprinkles all over you, girl. She uh, was one of, in my opinion, best models on the Sports Illustrated show uh, of the runway show the night before. And so then to have seen her and sat beside her at dinner last night just meant the world. And we fangirls and did all the things. And uh, I was just like, all right, you got a new auntie now. <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, you 41? I was like, yes. I am a big age proudly. Um, but I've been thinking lately that a lot of my friends tend to be millennials or like young millennials, even Gen Zers. Let me know, y'all, if you are about my age in your 40s, in your early 50s, do you find that you have a lot of younger friends? Because I'm trying to figure out what it is. Number one, age is insignificant in most ways. I think a person's maturity and life experiences and their vibe and their character matter the most. But also I think because I don't have children, because I'm not married because I create content maybe because of my natural interests there are people who are in my age group who live a completely different lifestyle than me maybe that's it I don't know maybe I just have a useful spirit but whatever it is I'm happy that black don't crack my G and we gonna keep up this skincare routine okay folks ask about my eyeshadow a lot this palette is by Luna Magic and the palette is Desmunda Desnuda, Desnunda, I don't know, it has <laughs> wiped off, but I got it from Ulta. And I like to use a lighter color on my base, and then I go in on the crease, and I add a darker color. And today, I am doing a chocolate brown. My blush is a cream blush by RMX, and the color is Elusive. I'm going to also put on top of this another blush just kind of has a little bit of a shine to it or a shimmer to it. The second blush is also by RMS Beauty and this color is called Hanky Panky. This I find just does something so good when mixed with the other. Oh my gosh, girl. I, see this is why I can't talk to y'all. I have a new makeup tip where I set in between each layer of makeup and it's been so good here and all this daggone heat. But talking to y'all, I've forgotten to set each layer. So we just gonna have to hope <laughs> this locks in, okay? On that note, let me go because clearly multitasking is not my thing. This will never be an exclusively makeup channel. Uh, I will check in with y'all before tonight's show. It starts at 10, but I'm gonna head over to the beach probably about nine or so, uh, or to be there at nine so that I can have some time to film, collect content, etc. So I'll be back with my outfit. It is pretty late, so the lighting is not the best, but tonight's show starts at 10, so obviously it's dark. Bear with me, I wanted to show you my OOTN. Earrings are by Sylvia Toledano. Dress is by Bottega. You probably saw this if you saw my Woodbury Commons vlog. It is another Bottega piece that is actually from the outlet. I found a similar dress that is a longer, it's maxi length on I think my Teresa. I will link it if you were interested. But fringe is such a big trend. I love this. I love the fact that it has this double layer. So one side is white, one side as you can see is that like lime green chartreuse color. Wearing the same shoes I was wearing last night. Actually I think last night y'all I started off with the pink shoes on. I switched to these. These are Bottega stretch mules in the same color as the dress for a pop of like contrast I am going to do my bulgari micro bag if it's a lip gloss my cars that's all I need my phone will be in my hand let's get out of here
Hey good people, welcome to another day. I took Sunday off because I just wanted to float around the city um, and I had a good time doing that. But this morning I went, I worked out. Y'all would be so proud of me. I used the Future app where I have my own personal trainer. Her name is Amy. Uh, it's so easy to use. I will link my code down below. The video was not sponsored, but I shared with you in the last vlog that I absolutely love this app. It makes having a personal trainer so easy. I'm not even home and I still have a customized workout. Also yesterday, I was out at Design District, which was a good time. Um, I wanted to try on a couple things at different stores. I didn't purchase anything. Y'all know I always show you first. Um, well, actually second, because the private community sees it first, but that ain't what we're talking about right now. Um, but I went into a Lexus, and y'all, I find that that store has a lot of very like feminine pieces, and it's not usually my thing, but I was able to try some things on that I loved. Unfortunately, they didn't have my size in the blue two piece but I would have taken that home for sure so I think you're all caught up right now as you can see I am headed to the beach slash pool come with me to the confidant this is going to be our last day together for the vlog At the Confidant, it is as lovely as I remember, but something terrible happened, y'all. Um, I have a day bed, and I'm sitting right in front of one of the pools, and I started to hear this guy yelling at a woman. Clearly, it's his partner, his girlfriend, his wife, whatever, and he starts to get louder and louder. I can't tell what they're arguing about, but he motions like to slap her and then he took the water and splashed it in her face and mind you this had been going on probably about 30 seconds to a minute at that point so when he went to go hit her and to splash the water in her face i said i yelled and i was like stop it right now stop it right now and he kind of looked but kept berating her and was calling her names calling her stupid how could you do this no one knows what the argument is about but she's like starting to cry. And uh, it was so triggering for me as someone who was in an abusive relationship once. And all I know is what I would have wanted when I was in a situation. It was much more like mental and verbal abuse, but it did get physical. But I remember thinking to myself, and Margo and I talked about this on a Justice episode, that I just wanted somebody to hold my abuser accountable. And so, I think now it makes me just like come out swinging, guns blazing, like a young little not on my motherfucking watch, right? So as the abuse continues, I yell like at the pool. I'm like, I'm having a hard time with the fact that all of these men are here and they're not doing anything. I'm having a hard time with the fact that these men that are here are comfortable with seeing a woman get abused right in front of you. I was like dead ass serious, right? And at that point, a guy gets up, he walks over, he um, starts talking to the guy, and this goes on for a minute, right? And we're all at the pool, probably like 50 people, like stunned at what's happening in front of us. And the guy, the abuser, was like, well, I didn't hit her, right? It's, first of all, you came close to hitting her. Second of all, we find out later from the woman that he has been physically abusing her this entire trip. Long story short, um, this bystander, you know, started to defuse the situation. One of the staff eventually comes up. The guy then leaves and tries to get the woman to come with him. And she says, no, I'm staying. She stayed and other women talked to her and just tried to encourage her and comfort her. Another woman got in the water and gave her a hug, but I couldn't, because at that point I was done. I was like, it's <laughs> what happens when you're a victim of a certain type of trauma, when you're triggered, like, shit sent me, right? So I thank the man who intervened 
and I looked behind where I'm sitting and it's another woman who was also crying, right? Because when things like that happen, like you don't know people's story. You don't know how that brings them back to their childhood, to their current situation, or just having a natural human emotion of empathy because as she's talking, we find out that he's always been abusive, his father abuses his mother. I mean, all this stuff starts to come out. And you know the reason why he had that whole tirade of toxicity and just nastiness with her? Because he had been wanting a coconut drink all trip. You know how they have the drinks with the co in the coconut? She goes to go get him one. And when he sips it, he notices that it's an alcoholic drink. And he went off saying that they were going to go meet his boss. And why would she get him a drink with alcohol? So when people say, well, what did she do to deserve it? What did they do to deserve it? There's, there's not a logic behind it. Abuse is just abuse. And the abuser never needs a reason. And the victim never has to answer to why they are being abused. It's just wrong across the board. So anyway, that shit just was a vibe killer. <laughs> and the whole time I'm like having to hold myself back because when I tell you I want to molly walk his ass, I, I would have jumped in the water and like two pieces ass. That, I, it was took everything out of me. It's interesting because my therapist told me recently about another situation. She was like, you stand up for yourself now. So sometimes I think that the part of me that couldn't stand up for me then stands up for others now. I ain't gonna cry again. Let me log off. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. It is Editing Shai coming to you super early in the morning editing as you can see back behind me and as I was getting ready to export the video I realized that I wanted to switch up the outro I mean in the one that I filmed I was at the hotel my eyes were still red from crying I had sand all over my face um and instead of putting that up I just wanted to hold some space here to say that while the vlog included a lot of fun times drinks popping bottles sparklers um runway shows, getting dressed up, spending time with friends. That is not my life every day. That is no one's life every day. And I think it's important because the internet can give a very false sense of reality. And my hope is that this channel is holistic and it demonstrates, at least in my blogs, parts of my life where I can be vulnerable. And I thank you all for that because you have created a space and a community where I can be vulnerable. And I wanna say to anyone who was triggered in the same way I was by the abuse that I witnessed in the story that I told you, um, that my heart goes out to you, that I'm sending lots of love and that I am a testament to the fact that it does get better. So with that said, I think we all can touch and agree that we are wishing for the absolute best for the woman who experienced the abuse at the pool. Um, I hope that she got home safely. And again, I thank y'all for rocking with me in this vlog to the very end. So if you made it this far, make sure you are following me on social media, that you are a member of our private community. I am taking some time off to spend with my family, but I'll be back in about two weeks here on YouTube. Until then, I will see you good people across the internet. Peace.